Hi, welcome to your video on proportional or not. That is the question. Uh, your SMART goal is I can determine if a table or graph has a proportional relationship. And you're taking these notes Cornell style in your notebook. Our first question is what does proportional mean? So vocabulary. In order for something to be proportional, it has to meet three requirements. The first one is that it has to have a constant rate of change. And you've learned that rate, another word for rate, is slope. So a constant rate of change, in other words, means you have to have the same slope throughout. So it has to be consistent. The second requirement kind of ties into that, making it you have to have a straight line. So if the slope is the same, it should make a straight line. So that goes hand in hand. And then the third requirement is that the line goes through the origin. It has to go through that origin, zero, zero. It has to, so a table, graph, whatever you're dealing with, has to meet all three of these criteria for it to be considered proportional. A good illustration here for you is the graph of this proportional and non-proportional relationship. So if you look at this one, you can see that it's a straight line, that it goes through the origin, um, that there is a constant slope. So if you find your rise over your run. Non-proportional here, the big difference is that it does not go through the origin. Okay, so what is the main difference? The graph of a proportional relationship is a line that passes through the origin. Now, these tables here, there's more to finding it. You can find proportional and not proportional by using a table, and that's what we will talk about here in a second. So, our question, how do you know if a table is proportional? Here's your first table. What, in order to find whether it is proportional or not, um, you have some extra, you have to extend out this table. And slope is y over x. So in order to find the slope from our graph, we're going to use y over x. So x is your time. Remember, time is always x. And then y is heartbeats. So if I look at this first one, y over x would be 6 over 4. And that can simplify to 3 over 2. Um, 9 over 6, again, can be simplified to 3 over 2. 15 over 10 and then 18 over 12. And again, we can simplify all of those to three over two. Because they all are the same here, this would make it proportional, okay? Or yes, this would be a proportional table. Let's try another one. Here we have a number of trees and the number of apples. So again, you're going to have to extend out that table. Okay, this is x, this is y. Slope is your y over your x, change in y over change in x. So what we need to do is take 26 over 2, simplify. 39 over 3, simplify. 78 over 6, simplify. 130 over 10, simplify, 146 over 12, and when you simplify all of these, you end up getting 13 over 1, which is just 13, okay, on all of these. Again, because our y over x, our slope is the same, our answer is proportional. Now, you might see on a table 0, 0, so I just want to talk about that quick. If you see 0, 0 on a table, when you do y over x, it's not going to work. You're not going to get the same thing. You would end up with 0 over 0. Now, you should know that that's okay because part of a proportional relationship is going through the origin. So if your table has 0, 0, you should have that. That's okay um, because part of the requirement of proportional is going through the origin couple more to take a look at. Again, extend the table. Now, I actually don't even need to go any further because if I look here, okay, I, x is 0. Y should be 0 because it has to go through the origin. It's not. 
So I can stop right there. It is not proportional just because I don't have 0, 0. Next one, okay, extend out that table. Again, I need y over x, so 10 over 1 is just 10. 17 over 2, ooh, that's not going to simplify to 10. So I can stop right there. This is not proportional. Sometimes you will have to go through the entire thing, but sometimes you don't. How do you know if a graph is proportional? So I have several graphs here to show you. And we're going to determine which of these is proportional and which is not. So the criteria of this is that they have to be a straight line that goes through the origin. Tables are really easy to tell, or graphs, excuse me, are very easy to tell. So this one, straight line goes through the origin. This is proportional. Okay, next one, uh, does not go through the origin. Even though it's a straight line, it doesn't meet both requirements, not proportional. This one, same thing, does not go through the origin. This one here goes through the origin, and it's a straight line, so this would be proportional. And this last one, it does go through the origin, but it is not a straight line. That is a curved line, so this would also be not proportional. Your turn. I have three pictures here. I have two graphs and a table, and I want you to tell me which of these are proportional and which are not. So go ahead and do that right now. All right, answers for you. The first one is not proportional because it does not go through the origin. The next one, you actually have to extend out that table for y over x. Now, it's okay that you have 0, 0 over here because that's a requirement of proportional relationships. So 25 over 1 is just 25. 50 over 2 simplifies to 25. 75 over 3 simplifies also to 25. So this second one, this table would be proportional. And last but not least... We have this graph. It is proportional. It is a straight line through the origin. And that is all, folks.